Hello, I'm the Godless Engineer. I got my Gears of War hat on tonight. Anybody out there play Gears of War? I've been drinking tonight. <laughs> That's the only reason why I'm, I'm making this video. Josh Fierstein here. So I've been issued a challenge to publicly prove that God exists and that atheism and evolution are illogical and just plain don't make sense. Oh my god, that's so illogical. Evolution is the only explanation. You know, it's funny because a lot of times people that don't want me to use a Bible, they say things like, oh my god, I mean, that's just so illogical. I mean, evolution is the only logical explanation. How did you know I would sound like that? But let's really look at how logical evolution really is. I mean, imagine that you've never read a history book. And all of a sudden, you're driving through South Dakota, and you see a mountain with four big faces on it. Well, we know it's Mount Rushmore, but say you didn't. And say all of a sudden you see it, would you just assume that that was a product of evolution, that the mountain had just evolved that way? Fuck no, Josh. I wouldn't be that stupid. <laughs> I wouldn't sit there and be like, oh, yeah, that's evolution, all right. Yep, yeah, that's evolution. Evolution did that. Evolution's a son of a bitch. Evolution carved that shit right out them rocks. He owes me 50 bucks too, motherfucking evolution. <laughs> Josh, you do know that evolution is the explanation of how organisms change over time. If you really want to get a bit more specific about it, it you can apply evolution to other things that change over time, like there's cosmic evolution. Uh, like, for instance, I'm taking a systems engineering class right now, and there's an actually an evolutionary model where you actually, uh, you actually evolve a product over several releases. Motherfucker. Or would you think that maybe that there had been an artist or a designer that had somehow carved those faces into that mountain? I mean, I want you to really think about it. Think about the house that I live in, or that even you live in. Think about the car that you drive. thought about it Josh um, yeah I think that if I rolled up on a rock that had a face carved into it that looked like somebody had carved a face into it I wouldn't sit here and think that the weather had some kind of artistic ability I think I would think some motherfucker rolled up up on it and actually wanted to carve some shit into it um, I wouldn't think that nature had a reason or or there was any kind of benefits to a face being carved into a mountain <laughs> it's not like it's not like a face being carved into a mountain as a result of the wind or anything like that that's just fucking stupid <laughs> dude you really need there's no point in telling you to google you're not gonna google even though you have a four hundred thousand dollar house and your parents work at the mayo clinic <laughs> you're not gonna do shit to actually learn anything <laughs> It's fucking sad, dude. Uh, yeah, I am thinking about your house. <laughs> that $400,000 house that your daddy owns. <laughs> I'm also thinking about that weekly allowance check he probably writes you. <laughs> hey, I'm wondering, uh, that 2001 minivan that you've been bragging about that you drive, who exactly did you borrow that shit from? Oh, and when you uh, started actually, you know, claiming that you were poor... I noticed that you started dressing down a lot more, and um, you started actually spouting off what kind of car that you drive, despite actually showing people that your future car is going to be some actually cool shit. <laughs> Come on, dude. Just drop the act. You're, you're rich as fuck. There's nothing wrong with that, man. Joel Osteen, he's rich as fuck. Uh, other mega pastors, they're rich as fuck too, dude. Don't worry about it. It really just makes you look dishonest. So if you just be honest about it and 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 you know you stop begging for money, I think that people might respect you just a little bit more. <laughs> Or that even you live in. Think about the car that you drive. Those are complex beings, and yet each one of them has a blueprint. I mean, do you really think that the human body was built without a blueprint? Especially looking at DNA. The fact that inside of you that there's a three billion letter code that specifically tells exactly how you're, make, you're made up. Doesn't that prove intelligent design? <laughs> who, who the fuck said that a house was a being? Does, does my house have fucking... Hey, house, does that hurt? Say ow. 
It's not saying ow, Josh. Hey, you're a complex thing. It's not saying ow. It's not. It's not saying ow. It's not. It's not a complex being. I mean, it's a structure. It's not a complex being though. This phone that I'm watching your shitty video on, it's complex, but nothing. <laughs> Learn what a fucking being is, Josh. <laughs> How the fuck do you know that DNA has a three billion letter code? Like, how, how, how the fuck do you know how many codes are in your specific DNA, but yet you can't fucking Google what fucking evolution is? Really? That's some selective learning if I've ever seen it, Josh. Let, hold on, Josh. Let's double check your shit. This this is how stuff works. How many letters of code are in DNA? Ah! Fucking look at that! You can't Google! Holy shit! The fact that your body has a blueprint? How can it have a blueprint if it doesn't have a designer? It doesn't prove that it has a designer. It just proves that it developed. It proves that other beings can come from it. This fucker right here has a blueprint too, but it can't procreate, dumbass. This house has a blueprint too. It can't procreate. If this house right here got up and went and fucked the house next to it, I think I'd be making a little bit more money when a, 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 a fucking house spat out of the other fucking house. <sighs> How about this? You actually try to use some logic instead of whatever the fuck you're using. I mean, think about the earth that we live in. Think about the fact that it's 8,000 miles in diameter. Think about the fact that it's 93 million miles from the sun. If it was any larger, well, the air would be far too dense and turn into water and cover the earth. If it was any farther or closer to the sun, we would either freeze or we would burn to death. Think about the fact that it's tilted 23.5 degrees, which allows us seasons. Think about the fact that it's the right distance from the moon, that when it spins, that it's able to control the tides. Think about about the fact that the atmosphere is 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. How, how do you fucking... Okay. That assumes that the Earth could have formed to be larger. That assumes that there was enough uh, material um, in the vicinity of the Earth to make it larger. That assumes a whole bunch of shit, Josh. Actually, there is a normal variance in the distance from the Earth to the Sun and its normal rotation. Um, so, we do actually get closer and farther away from the Sun. That also helps with seasonal changes. Um, just offhand here, do you honestly think that it's, that it's the Earth that is the correct distance away from the Moon? Or is it the moon that is the correct distance away from the Earth? You, you know that the moon was actually closer to the Earth at one time, um, and and the reason why that the it's not because it spins, dumbass. It, it it's because the moon has gravity, and when the moon actually goes around the Earth, yeah, it pulls the tides from one to the other. You can fucking Google, like, how many letters of code are in the human genome, but you can't fucking Google how the tides are controlled by the moon, let alone evolution. I mean, even Stephen Hawking, the great physicist, had to admit that the universe and its laws of physics seem to be specifically designed for us. I'm not exactly sure about the Stephen Hawking quote. I don't even have to look it up. But my guess is, is that because the laws of this universe are the way they are, it allows us to exist. But that also does not rule out the possibility that other values for these laws could also produce us. That's why this theory of the multiverse actually is a pretty good argument against your god. It doesn't mean that there is a creator behind it. It doesn't mean that there is a purpose behind it. 
It just means that because the laws are the way they are, we exist. Now think about this. When it comes to evolution, the one reason that evolution can never match up with science is that an organism has never been shown to gain genetic information. So how could something evolve from an atom, well, to a human being? How could it become molecule to man? <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, I choked on stupidity. Yeah. Guess your fucking ass has never heard of mutations that are actually uh, the explanation for evolution, uh, why certain things happen, uh, and that's actually explained by some other stuff that probably didn't come up in your Google search that didn't show up in that nice little screen um, that you actually have to think about a little bit. You know, that thing that you have trouble doing, apparently. How could something evolve from an atom to a human being? Well, for one fucking thing, um, <clears throat> nothing evolved from an atom to a human being. What you're actually talking about here is abiogenesis. It has nothing to do with evolution. And I'm not going to address abiogenesis in your refutation of evolution. Jackass. You know, I realize that there's a lot of people out there that draw pictures of apes and they're just this evolution into humans, but I could do the same thing with a flower and a windmill. But it doesn't mean that it's true. It's a good artist and a good story. <laughs> do you seriously just say that evolution is no more than an, than an artist drawing and that, and that it is comparable to a fantastical drawing of a flower being turned into a windmill? Did you honestly just say that? Because you are discounting all of the evidence for evolution. <laughs> and you're boiling it down to just a fucking drawing. Well, you know what? I can do that too. I can draw a bearded man in the sky too. I can draw him hating on people too for no goddamn reason. I can draw him throwing a lightning bolt up a elves ass. Making him work for Santa Claus. But, hey, you know what? You got a book, so maybe I should write a book, too, saying how he wants to shove lightning bolts up elves' asses so that they can make toys for all the bad children in the world. Is that going to make my God any more real? Huh, Josh? Joshy boy? If I write it down in a book and I get a flag and I put it in the book and I say, Oh, for God! Except my God's not going to be named God. He's going to be named Lightning ass. That's what he's gonna be named, Lightning ass. And and his flag is gonna have a an ass on it, and then and it's gonna have lightning shooting out of it. And on the flag it's gonna say, Move your ass. Does that make my God real, Josh? I want my God to be real because I really want to tell people that if you're not bad or good, then my God is going to shove a lightning bulb up your ass. But the fact is, is that there's not one organism that has ever shown us that it has added genetic information. In fact, science has actually proven that organisms lose genetic information over time. So how could something evolve when it's actually in the process of devolving? I would love for you to show me how organisms devolve over time. Devolve. Cretaceous. Our old king! You try to get rid of him, but the king is everywhere! You can't get rid of him! See you later, alligator. Ever! The evolution, of course, works the opposite way. Back to simpler form. Another nail in the coffin of evolution? Well, this is just plain and simple. It's never been proven that life can come from non-life. End of story. That is not evolution. End of story. <laughs> that is abiogenesis for the second time. And stick to evolution. Quit trying to change the subject and jumping around all, all across science. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you sticking with me through all of Joshua Feuerstein's bullshit. If you will, go down below, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts about Josh 
and is <coughs> disproving of evolution. And as always, think skeptically and stay godless. Never enough! We want more! Body parts and brain! Oh my god, Joshua! I want you to disprove evolution without using the Bible! Mm. Mm. Do a horrible impression of a redneck, don't I? Maybe you should let people with brains actually do thinking.